Let's talk about the power of podcasting to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Hornell from here. This is actually one of my favorite strategies. I started using it about five years ago, probably five plus years ago in terms of I record and then disseminate my daily videos on a bunch of different podcasting platforms. Why? Because it has a bigger reach. I can share my brand. I can share my message. I can share my audience to a much broader perspective. Podcasting has now become mainstream. Even my son-in-law and daughter listen to podcasts. And that's kind of mind boggling to me because they never really were big radio listeners. Uh, they like their, their CDs and albums and whatever. They, they didn't live in the album time. What am I talking about? But I'm in, here to encourage you today to embrace the podcast revolution. Podcasting is mainstream. It is the wave of the future. Anybody can start a podcast if they've got don't even need a microphone, you just need a cell phone nowadays. But if you have a, a microphone and a message, you can start a podcast. You can be on YouTube. You can be on literally dozens and dozens of different platforms with the push of a button. So it's easy to do. Uh, I had a friend who started a podcast in a week and I hadn't done mine yet. And so I'm like, well, gosh, if she can do it in a week, I can do it in a day. So I actually started my first podcast in one day. I got everything organized and ready. I already had a microphone, so that made it easy. But I just launched it and then started it and grew and learned from there. And now I've reached literally hundreds of thousands of people, probably millions of people through the people that I've uh, shared my message with. So it's a great way to amplify your visibility and amplify your brand. Uh, you can create authentic connections depending on whether you're having your own podcast or being a guest on other people's podcasts. Both are really effective strategies. I say if you can get on a microphone, if you can talk and interview people, that automatically sets you up as an expert in your industry. So uh, podcasts are any kind of topic you can imagine there's a podcast on nowadays. There are literally hundreds of thousands of podcasts going on right now. So you can learn from other people, model them and start your own or be a guest on other people's podcasts. You will get the same benefits by being on other people's podcasts as well as starting your own podcast. So you don't have to have your own, but I say it does give you a lot of credibility and it sets you up as an authority in your field and in your industry. It also allows you to expand your reach and influence, right? If you are the interviewer, think Oprah Winfrey, right? Think any other newscaster or broadcaster, anybody that interviews people or reports news, they have a huge following, millions and millions of people, and we can reach millions of people through podcasting now without having to have the huge investment that radio stations or TV stations or other media used to have to have. Uh, thank you, Digital Age. It helps us to drive traffic and conversions because we can put messages and invite people to join us or get involved with our businesses or businesses that we sponsor uh, as part of the podcasting process. It harnesses the power of SEO. We use a little SEO in our titles in the podcasts that we're either on or that we present and that we uh, lead, we can get more reach and more following all the advantages of SEO. So if you have the ability to tell stories, interview people, uh, share information, uh, all kinds of different ways that you can set your podcast up, I highly recommend that you investigate it as an option for growing and building and supersizing your business. Any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, have an awesome day, and I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. Happy Easter, everyone.